Oh, nuts. <laughs> um, it's bolts came today. I got bolts, bolts, bolts. This is what I was talking about. Albany County fasteners. Ting! For all your nut and bolt needs, call toll-free 866-573-0445. Um, these guys are awesome. Nice, thick bags. I mean, they just nothing falls out. Nothing's like loose in the package when you get it. Nice stickers. You can cut these stickers out um, off the bag and drop them in the container holding the parts. It's it just I love these people. They're so awesome. Each <clears throat> each one of these that's that's like uh, four bucks worth of screws, stainless steel. Allen key. I mean, it's that's like no more than five bucks worth of screws right there. They're just these guys are awesome. <coughs> okay, um, Gantry. Um, we have we welded. We have we welded the Gantry. Um, I am so much happier with this. <laughs> I took my time. I laid it out. Uh, the main thing. Oops, that's all. The main thing here is I uh, I took off my welding cap. And I put on my cabinet maker cap, which actually are the same cap, but um, leads me to a different way of thinking. And I started thinking like a cabinet maker and not like a welder because I'm not a welder. Okay. Uh, I used winding rods on this or winding sticks. <clears throat> and a, what a winding stick is, um, if you, let's say you have a big countertop uh, glued of many different pieces and you've got like an old school uh, hand plane, you know, like, like, you know, like, like Jesus, like a hand plane, like old school, right? And you want to flatten that countertop. Well, you got two things. You've got, number one, you want, you want that countertop flat across and you could go take a straight edge and you go boom, 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 boom and check it, you know, all the way across. But you also want to know if that countertop's got any twists in it. And so what you do is you, if this, if this was your countertop in miniature, you take two very straight parallel sticks. Uh, sometimes they are uh, different woods, they're different colors. Sometimes there's even a hole in them. And what you do is you place a stick up on edge like this at both ends. Okay, so you have a stick there and you have a stick here but on edge. And what this allows you to do is you can squat down and you can sight the edges of the sticks. <clears throat> and what the sticks do is basically they, because they're longer and they're, they're nice and straight and they give you a clean edge for your eye to follow, um, they, um, they pronounce any irregularities in your countertop. They, they, um, they multiply them because the sticks are longer. And you can tell way at the end of the sticks if there's even a, a, um, a small discrepancy in your material. And these winding sticks have been used forever, I mean, for carpentry forever. And, uh, and I personally used, have used them a lot. And it worked phenomenally well for setting this. Um, basically, I set a nice um, winding stick on this uh, upright and on this upright. I got it all clamped down. And then I was able to um, sight them across and be sure that they were both in plane. Um, <clears throat> once I did that, I, I repeated that test with the sticks going along. And that stick told me, A, these two pieces of material were flush with each other and um, that they weren't, there weren't any, <clears throat> you know, whoop de doos along the length of them. And lo and behold, I'm thinking like a cabinet maker and I can stick metal together straight. So, what do you know? There is a one inch strong back um, rib that goes the full length. <clears throat> it's actually set to, um, uh, to land, these glides are off, to land in the middle of these glides, in theory. And uh, so the screws should straddle that rib. I also fabricated <clears throat> these base brackets. These are the start of the y-axis, which is the whole gantry moving front and back. And um, this is what I've got. Uh, these are set at six inches. It's going to give me 21 inches and change of total travel on the y, which is less than I wanted, but um, not bad. 
<clears throat> one. Do I have a piece of scrap? Do I have a? Oh, it's propping up my motor right now. Um, this main upright of the gantry comes up right here. Zoop. And then there'll be a diagonal going up to it. I have a picture like that. Something similar to that. And um, nothing fancy here. Just a big old honking plate of metal. So we're looking good. We're looking really, really good. I'm, I feel like I've caught up for uh, the, the couple screw-ups we had at the beginning. So as we stand now, <clears throat> I, I don't want to mount these glides yet um, because I want to do my... I, I've got to build the deck next, the main deck. And that's going to comprise of two pieces of mongo, just huge gargantuan C-channel, like four-inch C-channel, which is wicked heavy and thick going along and then uh, I would call them joists going across from there and uh, same thing key to get it really 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 flat once that's done <clears throat> I can get these guys mounted and then I can get the gantry placed on these and then I can parallel from here down to the deck from here to the deck and get the gantry perfectly parallel with the deck Bada boom, bada bang. Now, after that's done, oh, and also uh, parallel this way and also straight this way, 90 degrees to the deck. Once that's done, I can go ahead and mount the glides and um, parallel them again to the deck. So, um, if for some reason, like when the welding, when I actually welded these uprights to this plate, if this were to get any cattywampus, um, I have another shot at getting it perfectly parallel when I fix the glides to the gantry. And again, oversized holes, so in theory I should be able to fudge everything once it's done. So we're looking really, really, really good. Um, probably building the deck tomorrow. I don't know if I'm going to be done with it or not. But um, I don't know, maybe tomorrow you will see this kind of propped up on the deck and we'll see what it looks like. Um, but then again, I'd rather under promise and over deliver so we'll see where that gets us so there you go that's it for tonight a good day um everything came out straight and true and it works and uh we're looking good ting